Hi friends, it's me Fawn. I'm behind the camera, so here is a picture of me. This is me. I'm an artist living and working in Thomaston, Georgia. I have a storefront studio. You can see that right here. And I thought that I would spend some time today going through my like to-go art kit here. And here is my travel sketchbook. I actually started it in at the beginning of 2020. Went several places. Here's January. And then, you know, spent the next year and a half at home. So this baby has not been used that much, but I'm hoping to get back into it pretty soon. I will be headed up to Michigan again to visit family. You can see in right here the last road trip vlog. I went up there in August and I'm going back up there via plane pretty soon. So I'm trying to like pare down <laughs> all the supplies that I'm taking. So hopefully I can do that. Uh, like I said, travel journal. It is a travel log artist watercolor journal. Eight and a half by five and a half. It's 200 GSM paper. I like, I like a thicker paper. Um, but this is pretty good too. I usually use like 300 pound watercolor paper on my regular artwork, but this is pretty good. I enjoy it and um, so much so that this is my second one. My goal is to fill it up by the end of the year so that I can get a Stillman and Burn sketchbook because I have been coveting that thanks to a bunch of YouTube videos. But without further ado, here is my to-go kit. Um, it is a home cube, I don't know, pencil case or something that I got from Amazon. Zips open. I don't, I don't have anything in here. Nothing in there. I've got it packed pretty tight actually. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to see what I use on this trip and then kind of pare down from that. Here are some zebra brush pens, three different sizes. Let's set that aside. Um, some red pencils. It's a an old habit from my tattooing days uh, to draw with red pencil. Flip that over. I have my business card right there with information just in case somebody comes across it and I'm, you know, I've lost it or something. There we go. Inside I have this pencil case. It's a metal pencil case. Carandash. Yeah, Carandash. And a Paul Smith collaboration. I loved the colors and I was like, oh, I need it. I need it bad. I have added to this collection. They were all these colors that you see on the side. But then I added some, some more colors. But I love these. Super soft. It's a good watercolor pencil. Bam. Here is a pencil extender for these short, 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 short red pencils. So I just keep that there. Eraser. Clicky, clicky. I also have this one. Um, sometimes you don't want to have like a bunch of <laughs> eraser uh, bits flying all around. So this is a gummy, squishy, rubber eraser. A nice little sticker. I have stickers everywhere. Cran Dash pencil. Um, just in case I wanted to sketch with a regular pencil. This is going to get pared down a bit depending on what I use on this trip because after this Michigan trip I'll be doing some other flights later on in the year so it's it's nice to get back into into the travel groove but I love this pencil. I wish there was smell-o-vision because it smells really good and I keep the tip protected with this little doodad there. Water brush. I've had it for about 20 years now. That's an exaggeration. Probably about 15. That's an old one. But a good one. It's held up. This is another one that I have mixed in some India ink. Some Payne's Gray, actually. Um, so not necessarily a black. But uh, I just love Payne's Gray. It's one of my favorite colors. And I use it often. It's not full strength. Payne's gray. It's just a wash. Micron pen 0.01. I love a good thin line. 
another water brush. This has a bit of a wider tip so that I can fill in more water and swish the paint around. I always feel like I have to have three of everything. Um, uh, I'm trying to get over that. Jelly Roll 10. Only this size will do. None of those skinny, skinny ones. Don't need those. Pencil sharpener. This gets a super, super sharp point to your pencils. I love it. It is Coom. Automatic long point pencil sharpener. The best I have about five floating around the studio. So I'm gonna keep one in here. And this is a paint palette that I got off of Amazon. It's metal, probably aluminum. I'm not sure. But it came empty. <laughs> Can I open it? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Stickers on it, uh, of course. Opens up. I don't have a specific palette. I'm trying to figure that out too. The kind of artist that I am, I use every color all the time. I just really enjoy colors. So um, these were actually paints that I've had laying around the studio for a long time. Some of these, some of these that are really chalky, I actually found a kit at Home Depot for like a dollar. It was Chinese painting. Actually, I'm trying to use up all the supplies that I have at the studio so I can justify buying more and buying some more quality things, you know. So I'm trying to get through all of this. <laughs> it will take me a while, definitely. Some of these colors actually came in subscription boxes, um, like art snacks or sketch box. I just threw that in there. I actually have a page in my travel sketchbook of all of it. So you can see it kind of matches up. Do I need two purples? Maybe. I don't know. Do I need four reds? I don't know. Maybe. But like I said, I'm just trying to use up all of this so that I can justify maybe buying one of those really tiny art travel palettes. You know, like, uh, remind me, art toolkits. Yeah, so I've been watching a lot of videos on what other people bring on their trips, and I am just like in love with everything else. So I'm trying to use up my own so that I can buy more stuff. Like I said, I have a lot to do, but I've done a couple of things. I was in Huntsville. <laughs> this is in May 14th of last year when I was just like full-blown cabin fever and I was just like, I gotta get out. So this is actually down the road from me. So I went there, hung out, drew it, went to the beach, Blue Ridge Cabin, you know, just some cool stuff around here. This is actually my studio. I love it so much. So yeah, I'm going to finish this and hold it to me, guys. I'm going to finish this by the end of the year so that I can buy a Stillman and Burn and start using one of those. And I'm going to use up all of this. Maybe not by the end of the year because it takes a long time to use watercolor. So, that is it, baby. Leave me a comment below if you enjoyed it. And, hell, if you didn't, I guess leave a comment. That's kind of pointless, isn't it? Um, but I want to pack this up. And um, we're going to take it to the airport pretty soon. And we're going to see how this works. It's actually probably too many things. <laughs> That's okay, though. I love my stuff. And I will use it all, I'm sure. There we go. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Watch my sketchbook tours. I will leave. I'll do a little doodad right there of all my sketchbook tours. And then you can subscribe over here. But thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. There we go. I am looking forward to putting all of this to the test. And I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.